Hey girls, today I'm really excited to show you guys this collective, not collective, but like really big bomb cosmetics haul. So this is actually something I picked up on eBay. It wasn't so much one of those surprise boxes that people seem to keep buying. It was just more so that someone had um, a lot of bomb cosmetics products that they were selling for whatever reason. Maybe they had too many, they received it as a gift. And I think maybe these came from collections, but they were all just compiled together. So someone was selling like a huge stock of their products. And I went on their website, I was gonna buy them full price, just like individually from the website. But I thought, you know what? eBay usually has a lot of like bath bomb Lush type of products. So I thought, since I love this brand and Lush quite a lot, uh, I want to see if they had some good deals on. For prices, I actually paid 18 pounds with shipping for this box, so it was really, really inexpensive it would cost about 30 i think at lush if i were to buy one of these products and they are individual use bath bombs but i also got a soap so i will start with that and it's called button babe and it's from obviously all from the same brand bomb cosmetics and this says it's a wonder bar made with lavender geranium to relax and calm you mm, and it smells very very light and refreshing, kind of a perfumey scent, but I imagine it's got a lot of very natural ingredients. Yes, it's got lavender, it's got some floral oils, so there's a little bit of natural ingredients too. It's not all just um, perfume, which is nice. Oh, this is a shower soap, so I guess you could use the other one as a hand soap, but not really sure what the difference is. Then I got the Palmer Violet shower soap. So I actually love Palmer Violets. I know it's kind of like a lot hate, but I really enjoy that scent. Mmm. Okay, it kind of just smells florally, but I guess it's like a Palmer Violet scent. It says it's a massaging sponge drenched in... Oh, what? I'm not sure. Okay, I think it's telling you to massage onto the sponge, because I don't know how this would be an exfoliating and, mas and massaging soap. Oh, I see. It's got... That's actually really clever. It's got foam fingers here. So you just wet the whole soap and then it like exfoliates your skin. That's really smart. At first I thought it was just soap. So I was a little confused why they were talking about sponges, but it's got a little sponge attached to the end, which is a very smart product. I've never seen that before. So hopefully that works out well. The smell is really pleasant so far because with bath bombs, if you just blind test them, sometimes you might get something like really intense that you don't like. And then this is a old Christmas one, but it's super cute. I might have already tried it. It's called Cool Tide. So it's like a little Christmas pudding like that. And to be honest, I don't care. I just love bath bombs. So this one has a few um, kind of like glitter stars. So you do want to be careful. You will definitely have to scrub your bath after. In terms of scents, I'm not sure. It definitely has some Christmassy scents. So perhaps something along the lines of cinnamon or like some deeper some citrus scents maybe. It smells very sweet though. It could be also vanilla. But that one smells really good. I think on the official website they have like stopped selling the Christmas ones or they're like on final clearance. I'm not sure because that is what I picked up in January when they were, had like their Christmas sale on. Next one looks like a really cute one for spring and summer. It's called Surreal Appeal. Looks like that. It's really cute and really pretty. It kind of smells of raspberry or pomegranate. So it definitely has some floral scents to it. It's got citrus, is it? Oh no, it's got cocoa and shea butter. So that adds a very like relaxing, soothing um, aspect. I think it'll really soften the skin as well nicely. Those are really, really good products for the skin and, and like moisturizers as well. And I think it would dissolve into a really beautiful color as well. So I can't wait to try that out. This is like ginormous. I'm really excited to try this. It looks like a really delicious cupcake. And I think it even comes in like a little paper packaging and it doesn't have the name written here, but this one is Polka Dot Princess. So you can use it up to three times by dropping in the bath, allowing a portion of it to melt. And it's got cocoa and bergamot, citrus. Oh, so those are all scents I love. Yeah, it's definitely quite a light but perfumey scent. So it's got a mix of those notes all together. It smells quite luxurious. So maybe I will, yeah, I guess you could take it out of the bath after a few minutes or a minute or something, because it said you can use it up to three times. The Fair Trade Fantasy, fairy tale fantasy not fair trade so this one has cedar wood bark oil cocoa they all seem to have cocoa as like a base product which i love it's definitely a nice kind of luxurious touch i think it really makes the water a little bit softer as well mm. yeah this one kind of smells more of like a men's cologne it has the those really uh kind of spicy citrus scents to it and yeah wow 
Not really sure how it's a fairy tale fancy. You think that would be like a bubblegum candy floss scent, but I'm really liking this one. It might be one of my favorites. Now this one was really interesting, really, really pretty. I've never seen a leopard print bath bomb, but you've got a little love heart there. And this is called Diva Fever, of course. And this one has sandalwood, um, it has palm oil, unfortunately, but it's got, yeah, cinnamon. So it definitely smells of like a more earthy scent. And I think the cinnamon makes it a little bit more spicy and cedar wood makes it a little of like, like that woody scent, obviously. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. It's like not just a like bath bomb floral scent. It's got a little bit of a deeper base note to it. And mixing all together, it's just a really... Um, kind of luxurious earthy scent so I'm really excited to try that and this one looks super cute it reminds me of the little mermaid for some reason like a very aquatic theme and this is called appleberry butter burst so it looks amazing and it's obviously probably got apple and berries and uh, yeah just very kind of light fruity kind of watery scents this yeah it definitely smells of apple like a very sweet undertone to it and the berries mixed in together it kind of smells tropical as well. So I think for summertime, this would be really great to pick up as well. Okay, and finally, we are down to my last bath bomb. This one is the Bomb Jammin Button. Am I getting that right? Yeah, Bomb Jammin Button. I don't get that name, but the ingredients are clary oil. So I think that's clary sage. I might be wrong. It's got cocoa, of course, they all do, cedarwood bark oil, so that I think is what adds a little bit of a more deeper, luxurious scent to the bath bombs. And I can't see what other kind of natural ingredients they have. This one smells of, it reminds me a lot of the cocoa and vanilla mixed together, maybe it also has shea butter, but I guess this is kind of like candy buttons on the top almost, so, uh, so I think it is meant to be a very sweet scent as well, but it's quite delicate. It's not, not as intense as some of the others I've shown you guys. So if you are, if you love bath bombs, but you like something sweet and kind of more light and girly, then this is the one for you for sure. And the color itself looks really pretty. It's almost like a, um, like a swirl of purple and white. So it's going to make the bath, I think, a really pretty purple shade. And yeah, that is everything I got. A huge amount, the most bath bombs I've ever bought in one go. But yeah, like I said, got it on eBay, so check it out if that's something you're interested in because you can find a lot of amazing, you know, authentic, unused items because sometimes people just want to get rid of a gift or they realize they bought too much stuff, like me, but I'm not getting rid of it. Then that is always a great place to pick up bargains. So I can do a whole eBay video as well if you guys want tips and tricks. I feel like I am an eBay expert at this point because I literally go on the website every week to check on deals and I do find a lot of... Um, like really amazing clothes and unused beauty products and that sort of thing that people are just getting rid of and perfume I've got a lot of Victoria's Secret perfume from eBay so that is everything thumbs up and subscribe as always if you enjoyed if you love these kind of hauls you want to see more bath bomb kind of bubble bath haul based videos so yeah and I'll see you guys next time